What's up, readers? It's Mr. Quarter. Our read aloud story is How Do You Know It's Fall? Here's our table of contents It's fall. Every year has four seasons spring, summer, fall, and winter. As summer comes to an end, fall begins. For many farmers, fall is harvest time. They gather crops that they've grown, such as apples and pumpkins. When you spot fat orange pumpkins for sale, it's a sign that fall is here. In fall, corn, wheat, and other crops are ready to be eaten. Farmers gather the crops that they've grown in fields so that people can buy them. Shorter Days In summer, each day has more hours of sunlight than darkness. By the time fall arrives, night and day are about the same length. Then, all through fall, daytime becomes shorter than nighttime. Each year, fall starts on either September 22nd or September 23rd. The first day of fall is marked on calendars. Keep a diary that shows how daytime gets shorter in fall. Each week in fall, pick a day and draw a clock that shows what time it got dark outside. Frosty Mornings Fewer hours of daylight are not the only clue that fall is starting. The weather begins to feel cooler, too. On some mornings, everything outside is covered with frost. Chilly mornings, windy days, and rain can all be signs that fall is here. On a chilly fall morning, go outside on a frost treasure hunt. Try to spot a flower, spiderweb, and leaf that are covered with frost. If a person or animal's breath makes a little cloud when they breathe out, it's a sign that the weather is cold. Crunchy leaves. Sidewalks in parks covered with crunchy leaves are clues that it's fall. As summer comes to an end, the leaves on many trees change color. Green leaves turn red, yellow, orange, and brown. Then the leaves fall from the branches and flutter to the ground. The leaves that fall to the ground become food for insects and worms. Become a fall leaf collector. Find as many different shapes and colors of leaves as you can. Then glue or tape them into a notebook or scrapbook. Apple time! All through summer, apples on trees grow bigger and fatter. When fall arrives, the apples are ready to eat. Farmers climb ladders to pick them. The apples are then loaded onto trucks that go to supermarkets. Look at the seeds inside an apple. What important job do you think the seeds have? In fall, people can visit apple farms to pick the fruit. Time for seeds. Fall is the season when many plant seeds fall to the ground. Some seeds, such as those from apple trees, fall to the ground inside a piece of fruit. Other seeds, such as the ones from maple trees, whirl to the ground like tiny helicopters. The seeds from oak trees fall to the ground inside a tough shell called an acorn. After the seeds have fallen to the ground, they wait in the soil where they landed. When the weather warms up, they will grow into new plants. Acorns sometimes get buried underground after they have fallen from a tree. How do you think this might happen? Getting ready for winter. On a frosty fall morning, a busy squirrel collects acorns and other seeds. It digs little holes in the ground and buries the food. In winter, when it is hard to find enough to eat, The squirrel will dig up the food. It won't find all the seeds it buried, however. The ones it does not find will grow into new plants and trees. Squirrels bury the food they collect to hide it from animals, such as birds, chipmunks, and other squirrels. Honk honk! It's fall. One sign of fall is the 
honk-honk of Canadian geese as they fly south. Canadian geese live in many parts of Canada and the United States. As the weather gets colder in the fall, the birds fly off to warm places in the south to spend the winter. In spring, they fly back north. When Canada geese fly together in a group, they fly in a V shape. A garden in fall. In fall, people are busy cleaning up their gardens. They rake up leaves that fall from the trees and cut down summer flowers that have died. They also plant flower bulbs, which will grow into daffodils and other flowers in spring. Fall is the season when people prepare their gardens for the long, cold winter. Stand outside on a fall day. What signs of fall can you see? What sounds do you hear? What do you smell? Fall lasts until December 20th or 21st. Then winter begins. Here is a science lab activity you can do for fall and some science words for you to learn. That was our story, How Do You Know It's Fall? Remember to click that subscribe and like button to support a teacher and to read more books. Thanks for reading.